I'm Lou Manfredini, ACES Home Expert, and in this video, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks when it comes to using a speed square. Okay, a speed square, when it comes to working with wood or any kind of carpenter, this is a go-to tool that most carpenters will carry. It allows you to create 90 degree lines when you're laying out walls. It allows you to cut different angles by being able to pivot at this point and come to an angle and draw it with a pencil so that you can cut it. This is also a very useful tool if you're cutting roof rafters or need to get different angles. And it can be a very useful tool for using it as a jig, let's say that you're wanting to install hardware on kitchen cabinets because it's got marks in there like a ruler that can be consistent for you for a layout. So let me show you a few of the things you can do. Okay, the very simplest use of this is you can see that there's an edge here, like a little bit of a T. If you put that onto a piece of wood and this edge goes across that, this line right here is how you would just draw it and that's a 90 degree mark that you could then use to cut this piece of wood. The next thing is, let's say that you wanted to create an angle cut on a piece of wood. On this edge right here, you'll see a bunch of numbers that as you pivot, if you line up, say, the 20 with the edge of the wood while this is pivoted here, and I draw this line here, that is a 20 degree angle. If you wanted to draw a 45 degree angle, if I flip this over, you see that same stop is there on the speed square and I draw this, that's a 45 degree angle. But with that pivot point, you can pivot to any number of degrees, 30 degree, 35, this will also give you 45. You can even go longer to here, this would be a 75 degree angle coming off of this that you could cut a very long cut that then you could spin around the speed square to extend that line that you drew and that's a 75 degree angle. I mentioned that you can use this as a, a jig if you're laying out hardware. So if I go here like this and I need to make a consistent mark at two inches, well I've got a two inch mark right here and I would mark it right there so that's my point and if I needed to do it down here, again that two inch mark and if I were to draw a line in between those, you would have a consistent line. If you're working with wood, doing any type of carpentry, a speed square is a must-have tool. Coming up next, how we created my Craftsman Garage. 